So this weekend, I got another one of those hoaxes come across my Facebook feed and decided rather than just complain about it, I would try to educate people about it. So what's my authority? Who am I to teach you this? I'm currently studying to earn my master's in library and information scientist. You see, librarians are not just masters of books. We are masters of information. We are in the business of information. And Neil Gaiman says it best. Google can bring you back 100,000 answers. A librarian can bring you back the right one. So let me share a bit of what I've learned in library school. So let's say we come across a bit of information saying your account has been hacked. That's pretty scary and you want to help people. So you pass the information on thinking, what can it hurt? Why do scams and hoaxes spread so wildly? Fear. Why do they spread fear? Because it prompts people to action, to click or to forward their message. So you're thinking, what can it hurt by passing this on? Well, it needlessly panics people. Think about the boy who cried wolf. If you're constantly saying, oh, worry about this. It makes others lose respect for you because you fell for a scam. Sometimes a name is involved, which gains them notoriety. And in some cases, it manipulates the Facebook's algorithm so that their web page becomes more popular and better able to flood your feed with junk. Plus, all these hoaxes and scams just feeds other people's feed with junk, floods other people's feed with junk. So here are some of the common hoaxes. It's official. Facebook is going to start charging you money for um, using their application. Or everything you've ever posted becomes public tomorrow unless you copy and paste and so forth. Okay, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen some variant of any of these. So how can I tell if it's a scam or a hoax or if it's real? Well, first, does it sound like your friend is actually forwarding this to you? Did they write it? Here I've got this one from, this is the one from this weekend. Um, and they're saying they got, you know, the friend request from you. Please, you know, hit forward and, you know, hold my finger on the message until it forwards. Well, it doesn't really sound like my friend. It's got a grammatical error. Um, also, my friends are not likely to include instructions on how to forward the message. They would just tell me to do it and they'll know I can do it. Um, the other thing is, how can you tell if it's a fake or scam is the authority? Who is telling you this? Perhaps I got this message from my friend, but who did they get it from? We could go back a thousand times and still not find out who the source is. So in this case, the source is unknown. That kind of makes me suspicious. If it's a web page, who are they? What are their credentials? Are they trying to sell you, sell a product? Um, what kind of business are in, are they in? Because most websites are, are a type of business of some sort. Um, if they're kind of a newsy type of business, did they cite their sources? Don't know. Scope. What is the depth of the information? Is it just a little sound bite or is it an in-depth article with, you know, interviewing people that have knowledge about this information? Um, you know, so who's saying this and how much are they telling you? Is it just a little sound bite leaving out lots of important details or is it a very thorough article? And then authenticity authenticity. Can you confirm this information with another source? This is the main one. Is this something that all the major news networks are saying? Or is this the only website that's saying that one thing? I find this um, usually when I see that some famous person has died, I'll go check other news sources and it's not even true or sometimes it is, then I know I can share it or not. So when in doubt, throw it out. 
This was said about with food in mind, but it works in this situation too. If you're not sure, throw it out, ignore it. Um, bottom line, if you don't know or you don't want to research the scope, the authority, the authenticity, then don't pass it on. Please don't flood our Facebook feeds with something that hasn't been authenticated, please. I hope y'all have a lovely day.